To balance this equation, C4H6 plus O2, let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have four carbons, six hydrogens, and two oxygens on the reactant side. Over on the product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens, plus we got to make sure we count this oxygen out here. So we have three total oxygen atoms. Let's start by putting a four in front of the CO2. I like to leave the oxygens till last. So if we put a four in front of the CO2, one times four, that'll give us four carbons and those will be balanced. We do need to update our oxygens though. So we have two times four, that's eight, plus we have the one right here. So we have nine oxygen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogen atoms next because we could put a three in front of the H2O and two times three, that would give us six. So those would be balanced and then we need to update our oxygen atoms again. So now we have two times four, eight oxygen atoms plus one times three, that gives us 11. So we're kind of met with this challenging situation where the oxygen atoms really just don't match up. If it was an even number, that would be easy. We could just change the coefficient in front of the O2. What I like to do in this case is multiply this number by a fraction to balance the equation. So let's do that. Two times something is gonna equal 11. And it turns out two times 11 over two, that equals 11. So we could put 11 over two in front of the oxygen. And this equation would be balanced. If your instructor likes to have whole numbers, doesn't like to have the fractions here, we could multiply the whole thing by two, and that would get rid of the fraction here. So let's do that. Let's multiply everything by two. Two times the one, that's two. And if we multiplied two times the 11 over two, these would cancel out. We'd be left with the 11. Two times the four, that would give us eight. And then two times the three, that would give us six. So let me clean this up here a little bit. And these are the coefficients for the equation C4H6 plus O2. Often with combustion reactions, using this fraction here is helpful and then multiplying by two to get whole numbers. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C4H6 plus O2. Thanks for watching.